Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I can't wait to read your comments on this one. Because I know a lot of you are going to comment, Andy, what's with this drama? Why Grace again? Get over her. Well, I'm going to explain all that, but I want to say something first. If you're watching this video and you haven't watched my dozens of movie content up until now, and you're only commenting now, just unsubscribe and leave, please. Uh, I want supporters of this channel who are going to watch me, my personality, the things I talk about, the things I choose to talk about. Uh, that's what this, pl uh, this channel is going to be. Popcorn Planet is going to be whatever I want to talk about. Uh, and the reality is, it's also about what you guys are clicking on. And the sad reality is, you guys click on the drama. So I've been trying to figure out how to do a drama show that's not too dramatic, but at least can address dramatic topics. Uh, and at Dia came to me today. Here it is. My new segment. Here it is. They said what? That's right. They said what? Uh, this is going to be an opportunity where you on Twitter, social media, you can send me a quote. It doesn't have to be today or it could be whenever. Something I missed. Break it down to me so I can make these videos. Uh, we'll talk about them. I will show what said person said. Uh, we will then break it down. And I will, at the end of the video, give you a scale of how stupid the outrage is over what they said. Uh, should we forgive them? Is this a nothing burger? Uh, or is this completely stupid and they need to say something? Uh, 10 being stupid, uh, 1 being nothing. Uh, so stay tuned for the end of this one to see how Grace rates uh now where this came from i gotta thank coyote music thank you coyote music uh you inspired this segment we'll see if it lasts or if this is the only one i do uh but i appreciate you andy you got to see this uh he sent me a grace randolph tweet now before i get there guys i know you're watching if you made it this far hopefully you're still a supporter if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button can you please do so right now go hit that subscribe and then while you're at it uh, hit the all notifications and smash that like button and if you really want to be a fan leave a comment it all helps the algorithm of these videos uh so thanks so much for the engagement all right so getting to this comment from coyote music thank you for sending this over coyote uh sure you got it i will check this out uh this is a device decisive sorry decisive moment for netflix getting leonardo dicaprio to co-star in one of their films with jennifer lawrence they have officially arrived regarding producing movies what happened to the Irishman? That wasn't, or marriage story they've done. Anyway, uh, I don't know about having two white leads, cringe face, but we'll see how the film looks. Incredible cast. <sighs> this one uh, didn't make people happy. Now, before I get to all the outrage comments, uh, it's important just to go through the actual film. Uh, Adam McKay is doing this apparently like a comedy drama. Uh, Meryl Streep, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, Hamish Patel, who did uh, was in Yesterday, uh, as well as uh, uh, who else was in this? Kate Blanchett, Rob Morgan, um, Kid Cudi, Ariana Grande, Matthew Perry, Tomer Sisley, uh, and apparently some more. Those are just the only ones who have signed up so far. Uh, but the film revolves around a uh, he, McKay. Adam McKay wrote and directed the script. Uh, two low-level scientists who upon discovery discovering that a meteor will strike the earth in six months, go on a media tour to try and warn the world, but find an unreceptive and unbelieving populace. Uh, so uh, it should be interesting. This was a movie that Leo wanted to do, uh, but couldn't fit into his schedule since he's doing Scorsese's next killers of the flower moon uh, with De Niro, which should be cool. Um, and so with, the Rona scheduling everything, this popped back into his schedule and now he's able to do it. So uh, that's where he, he's environmentalist. He obviously saw something here important he wanted to say. And both Jennifer Lawrence and Leonardo DiCaprio haven't done a comedy. So for jo Jonah Hill to get in there and all this, Adam McKay to do sort of a dark comedy, uh, this could be fantastic. I am excited. But then again, it's two white leads. Hmm. Let's see what the outrage on Twitter had, how they reacted to this. I love your channel for years, but you are more and more trapped in your own web of radical SJW thoughts. Even to think that a movie with two white leads is a problem is a problem. If we are at a point where every movie has to be representation, then every freedom of art is gone. Uh, remember when she started reviewing Indian movies? Because diversity. Saying she wanted more representation? As soon as the charade didn't pay off with views, she dropped it like a hot potato. So basically it's virtue signaling as long as it pays, not because she believes it classic ouch uh, i don't think there's a problem with a film with two white leads as long as not every film has two white leads if we're also seeing two latino leads or two asian leads then i don't see why this would be a problem the problem is we aren't seeing many latino or asian leads facts uh, i'm a person of color i do not see anything absolutely anything wrong with having two white leads in a movie low-key racist resorts saying things like i don't like i don't know about having a 
Blank. Don't say that lead. I fear uh, I begin to see a pattern here. Reverse racism. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I know she genuinely feels like posts like this help, but they simply don't. They just divide people even more. You promote diversity without putting others down. Really feel like her as a white woman just doesn't get it. Uh, really getting sick of this identity politics and now race quota in movies. Every other sentence when talking about movies is about looking for a uh, actor uh, i really don't care one white lead or black or purple just make a damn good movie uh as a person of color latino i find this comment entirely idiotic but then again i don't treat movies like reality uh why is she not allowed why is it not allowed to have two white leads i mean it's not like the whole movie cast are only white men so i don't understand what your issue is uh the term white has been diluted so much it's turned into water find a new term describe people of fair skin uh white is bad ban white people it's almost like they get picked off their acting not color uh, it's being sarcastic. So either two big actors of our time can't stare on a movie together anymore. How sad. You really are taking this representation thing f way too far. There won't be any real equality until representation comes natural and not imposed. I do agree with that. People don't get that aspect right now. Uh, right there, everything is forced to go with the woke narrative. Every four years this happens, but it's worse as election year. I don't want forced diversity. Hollywood has many projects forcing diversity. Cough, Witcher. I understand the scientists are very diverse community and would have loved to see someone like Ferran to hear get a lead role but it's leo can't go against his casting aladdin did the right thing casting will smith as genie but also but also as approach appropriate as poc i also don't take issue of every casting choice uh when i do have an issue i choose to vote with my wallet facts kareem because exactly but the bottom line is this should matter for each of you you get to make that call when you go buy tickets right that's the reality here if you want to boycott the movie because you don't like two white people in it great that's your right. Uh, you can do that. Sounds though. Sounds kind of bad when you say it that way, though, doesn't it? Uh, JADS, what's wrong with having two white leads? I'm all for diversity, but it just seems a little ridiculous to have it forced into every movie. Also, I'm Latino, and I would love to see more Latino representation, but it seems like a great cast to me. Love your videos, by the way. So anyway, Grace then responded, because a lot of people were upset. Uh, look, if you don't see the issue of two white blonde actors playing the leads in a movie where they play two modern scientists, meaning you really could cast anybody, then what the hell have we been doing the past few months? Uh, as an actor of color, if an actor of color can't even get to play a scientist in a movie where the other scientists have been cast as white actress when so many people in the scientific community are of color. Come on. That's right. Let's stereotype all scientists. They're all smart and not white. They're all, uh, what, what, what are you implying there, Grace? What, what, what diverse, diverse <laughs> race are you assuming? See, see, this is why this conversation is hard. Because it's like, <sighs> you can't have black people, can't have Asian people, can't have white people. And even just saying it out loud feels weird. Oh, man, make sure you put more black people in the movie. Make sure you, can, can we put enough white people in this movie? That conversation is, is weird. Uh, and it does go always. We got to be careful because, of course, we need more diversity in Hollywood. Absolutely. There needs to be more representation. And the reason being is because there are a lot, lot of uh, people of color don't have the same opportunities that Leonardo DiCaprio had. For generations, they've been giving more opportunities to a lot of white actors, which is true. At that said, there's a lot of other, you know, African-American actors. Denzel Washington is a lot of big name, right, talent uh, that has still of color that can work, right? So it's like, I, we got to be careful here. We got to be careful because yes, for the past few months, we have had an important movement to realize we have to make better with our equality. And I think it goes, you know, with the police, everything, with so much stuff. And I don't want to get political in that regard, but the matter, I, I do agree. We, we can do better as a society in a lot of ways. Uh, we learned that over the summer, a lot of Karen videos and stuff proved there's a lot of bad stuff still out there that we got to stomp out. Uh, so I hear it and, I, and I'm all for it. I'm all for diversity, but we have to be careful about forcing it and forcing filmmakers to have quotas to say, well, no, you already have one white lead. You can't have another white lead. I mean, that's going backwards. If you ask me, uh, and, and, and the reality is, the reality, while I and I stand by everything I just said there, because yes, diversity matters, representation matters. But again, you got to remember here in our country, 76% of the population is white. 13% is black. And then it continues to go down. Hispanic, 18%. Um, uh, white, hello, not Hispanic or Latino, uh, 60%. If you really want to break it down, 60%. No other, uh, just white people will really break it down race, which is just uncomfortable and weird to do. But like, that's the facts here. Uh, Latino representation should be higher, if we're being honest, because it's 18% of our population. If we're making movies based off what the world looks like, our country, right? These are the real stats. So yeah, with 60% people are white, you can have a few movies with two white leads, Grace. We can't start now making every movie with two white leads be an issue. Uh, I think that's this is misguided activism. This is 
uh, uh, activism for popularity's sake is how I really do see through this. I don't believe she meant this. I believe she's doing it because even she seems sort of frustrated if you look at it. I mean, come on, isn't what, what the hell have we been doing the past few months? I mean, my God, I've had to change my whole life the past few months. I've had to reevaluate everything and think and start thinking about how I'm too white and have to do this for that. I mean, Jesus, all this work for nothing? They cast two white people as scientists? I mean, come on, people. I mean, that's how this reads to me because it's like, this isn't actually helping. I don't think this is helping. Now, again, I think her heart is in the right place. Do I think she's a racist? No. Uh, is this all for nothing? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tweet. Uh, so it's not going to be as stupid as you think I'm going to make it. But at the end of the day, it's a dumb tweet. This is a dumb tweet. This was a bad, I think this is a bad take. Uh, you're gonna, she's going to get support. I'm going to get hate for what I'm saying here. I'm sure of it. Uh, and she'll get support just because everybody, there's always haters and, and supporters. Uh, but this is, uh, this is, I'm for diversity. I'm for equality. I'm for representation. Absolutely. But telling directors now you can't have more than one white lead in your movie, that's, that's, not, that's not good either. That's not going to help create diversity. It's going to make white people I don't, I don't care. I personally don't care, but it's going to make some white people be really mad and annoyed. That's going to create division. That's not going to actually help the movement and change that we need to do because sometimes change is hard. Sometimes you got to force change and sometimes people don't like change, right? So in order to create proper change, you got to be a little patient. Yes, you need to make big moves and the people out there that are choosing to make those moves, I applaud them. Good for them. Great. Keep it up. Uh, but telling Adam McKay, boo, you have two white leads. Grace, no one else was talking about that but you. That was stupid. Stupid, stupid take. So on the scale of 1 to 10, for 1 being this is a nothing burger uh, that she said that, to a 10, I'm going to put this one right smack in the middle. Uh, 5. Yeah, because this is, uh, you know what, I'm going to give it a 6. It's right a hair above stupid. Because it's stupid. What she said was stupid. But it's not so bad that I don't think she didn't mean well. So... Just a hair over the five, we're going to give her a six on the scale of stupidity. Uh, what do you think? I want to hear your scale down below. <clears throat> also, I'd love to hear your pitches. If you have a quote you want me to hit up, hit me up on social media. Again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you like this segment. If you want more, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hey, check out these other videos and subscribe while you're at it.